Good morning, good morning. If you're in Jamaica, if you're a Jamaican, happy, 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 independent. And welcome, 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 welcome to the channel. Whether it's afternoon, whether it's morning, whether it's night, you come in contact with this video. It is day five of our devotional of 21 days 21 days of devotional day five and my sixth day in fasting now my fasting is from morning until two and where i i take time out to pray take time out to read the word now if you're a person that is at work and you are saying it's so hard to fast and to really pray sometimes what i do i rush into the bathroom and the restroom and i pray for like two three minutes instead of not fasting any at all and one of the greatest thing that one of the greatest thing that helps me in my past being at work is put on the bible app the bible app and allow it to play so you can type in whatever scripture you want on youtube and then you can allow it to play and there you go you hear the word of god you're meditating on the word of god and you you know and doing work at the same time you know everything is expensive in these days and so we have to know how to live and how to be a believer by connecting to the word blessed be the name of jesus so let us pray father we exalt your holy name for another day and in jamaica it's not just another day it's a day of celebration of independence lord god almighty we humble ourselves before you when we look across our country father god how independent are we but lord this morning we give you thanks that the redemption allow us to be free from sin by seeking you wholeheartedly seeking your resurrection power and allow your power the blood that was shed on calvary's cross to rejuvenate us to replenish us oh god almighty we thank you for the resurrection power we thank you god for your kindness towards us for your love and for your mercy fall afresh upon this day everyone that comes in contact with this video may their heart be at a place of forgiving may their heart be at a place oh god to see you in all your glory to understand that your mercy is new every morning and great is your faithfulness your faithfulness to us that as we have not ever been faithful but god you love us unconditionally and so we thank you this morning for to have chosen us and that we have chosen you we glorify your name for your love and kindness and god as i take this time out to to do the devotional father god everyone that comes in contact with this video may their hearts be blessed and father god we thank you for the change in their families we thank you for the transformation we thank you for the healing we thank you god for the deliverance that you're bringing to the lives of your people we magnify your name this morning we glorify you and we humble in your presence as it's not by power by might but god it is by your holy spirit that the same spirit that raised you from the dead in romans 8 and verse 11 is the same spirit that quickened our mortal body may that spirit come alive this morning to create and to do the impossible from the crown of the head of your people to the sole of their feet in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen so for this 21 day if you're here for the first time it is disruption disruption you know we, we 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 face disruption from time to time whether it's someone disrupting our conversation whether it's someone disrupting our meal when when i was small you know per, you know person that visits or even your family member will just say look over there and they take out your you know they take out your meat 
you know, you feel really bad about that. You feel like something just come and just disrupt your entire meal that you're eating. And so, you know, you know, the, 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 the solution that I come with is to never leave my meat for the last. You know, meat is so good to, to eat with your food. And I don't even know why I remember this. But meat is so good to eat with your food. But guess what? Eat along with your food. But sometimes, you know, being a child, you recognize that somebody's going to steal your meat. So guess what? You start eating it first so that you will be the first one. And... Uh, that to me is somewhat disruption. So we have them in small portion. We have them in large portion like nature come in and disrupt our, our nicely comfort setting because some of us, the roof gone, the house gone, you know, we lose family member along the way. So this morning, whatever it is, let us join together and let us pray. That word is going to pop up from time to time in the devotion because it is what we're focusing on. You know, the word is what we use to overcome the these things, to overcome allowing your heart to be at a place to receive, to, to, to just whatever comes your way. You learn how to be content. You, you learn how to pray in the time of trouble and in the time of no trouble. Because a lot of time in the time of trouble, we tend to not have the strength to pray. We tend to have not have, to do, not have the strength to even stand up. We're just sitting and looking. So this morning, just know that whatever we practice, you know, it will become... It will become a part of us. And the scripture lesson is taken from St. Matthew 10 and verse 34 to 40 to 42. And it thus read, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came, and this is Jesus speaking. You know when you have your Bible and it has that red writing, we all grow up in Sunday school or in Sabbath school or whatever school you have grown up in. You know, I grew up, I was raised in Sunday school. So they would teach you that the red writing in the Bible, it's Jesus speaking, right? And he said, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Now we all know what a sword is. And you see, that is clear right there. For I am come, and it's always good to read the scripture, not only one verse. Because a lot of times we get one verse, and what happened is, it, it, it stated one thing, but you get a little more in-depth as you read along. And I recognize that a lot of times we do that, and we miss the other information that is within the scripture. And verse 35 said, For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter. And variance is, according to the, the Oxford English Dictionary, the amount by which something changes or is different from something else. So you know that the difference of opinion is going to cause problem there against her mother and the other and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes and foes there it means an enemy or opponent now you would see hostility there and uh, a man's foes shall be they of his own household a man's foe, a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Now I'm reading from the King James Version, and I just for the words that seems a little off from what we used to, the foes mean an enemy or opponent. You're looking at hostility there that is coming from you know your own 
it whatever you're gonna go up against many a times it comes from those that you're familiar with right he that loveth loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me now when you come when you come to christ as a believer you're going to be tested of this word because you're going to be tried and you at the end of the day you will know whether you pass this test to love your daughter or your son or your husband more than the word of god because the word is what we are going to go by because we don't see jesus here we don't see our lord in front of us but we see the word that represents his presence in our life and he that take it not his cross and follow it after me is not worthy of me we know that the cross is all the crosses that we come in contact with all the trouble all the disruption the trials and tribulation we come to god with them we trust him with them wholeheartedly he that findeth his life he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it now in that 39 verse is saying that if you choose your life over <coughs> being a believer like the rich man said he will not sell his stuff and come after christ so he will not go through anything when it, where it comes to christ and we have persons around us they choose the material things over god and at the end of the day you can't get to experience God through your trials because that's where we experience God. We experience God through our trials and tribulations. We ex we experience God in all of this, this, this disruption that comes to our life. And some of them are harsh and many people will ask, where is God when this is happening? But if you understand that the Bible said the prince of the world cometh and he has nothing in me in John 14. And he said, my peace, I live with you. Why would he believe in peace if he knows that if he know, if he didn't know that disruption is going to come, your peace is going to be tried, you know. And so he's telling you, he leave the comforter and you shall not be comfortless. What would you be comforted from if it, if it is not? He's not saying that you're going to find tribulation. And he did say it in, in the scriptures that tribulation will be there. He that findeth his life. And we read that already. 40 said, he that receiveth you receiveth me. And he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Powerful right there. You know, because many, many, uh, many persons will reject the believers, persecute them and put them down. You know, and he said, he that receiveth you re receiveth me and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me and there go it shows that he's saying that i have a father you know that sent me to you he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward now this is something and many a times we will do things because of what is here but our heart is not posture in a sincere way but it is just it's showing you you know if you care for those that have have because many a times the children you know god's children go through a lot of suffering and if you know one of the scriptures said the righteous have never been seen forsaken nor seen in begging bread and it's just showing that there will be time when the time is so hard but god is saying i will provide there are people that he he has in high places that those that are in need he speak to them to come and be of help right and your reward is great right and he that receive it a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward and we we love we love to know what we are getting so there it is he's telling us 
when you do this and you do it with a sincere heart, a heart that is willing and kind and humble, these are the things that you will get at the end of the day. A heart that is willing to seek him wholeheartedly. 42 and last says, And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. And there you go. You see those instructions. We all love to read instruction. These are powerful ones to help us on life's journey as a believer. Being a believer is not about your strength. It's about being, it's about the strength of the Lord. So I want to repeat that again, you know, because when I didn't have the knowledge, you know, I think that I would not be able to be a believer because I'm not ready. You know, being a believer, we will never be ready because it's not us that is doing it. The, the, the most of what we are doing is, is answer the call because the Bible said no man can come to the Father unless he draws us. So it's just for us to answer the call. It's like someone coming to your door and knock, right? And when he knocks, you open the door. And when he, when he, when he opens the door, everything that you need for the journey that you're going on as a believer, he is there with it, equipped. And ready for you but along your journey you're gonna you're gonna see many disruptions and in that disruption he has a manual man, manual he has a manual and a guide which is coming from the Holy Spirit because he said he, he left the, the Holy Spirit as a comforter a teacher a guide and with all when you look at this it is powerful. It is powerful that when we think that we are doing, we are doing it. When we think that we are walking this journey alone, and because we we being alone is just being there alone. We see ourselves alone, but being alone in Christ meaning that you are there with Christ. You are not alone. Christ is there with you. You are there with him. And this, that's it. He wants you to remember this morning that whatever the journey you're on, you're not alone. God is there with you. And as the analogy came through the Holy Spirit, I would I won't take that um for I won't take that explanation not too long ago for myself. But it is coming from the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for this morning's devotion. I thank you for your presence. I thank you, God, that you have explained so many things in your word. And nothing is new under the sun. You have given us all the information we need to live as your children. And so, God, this morning, we thank you for your everlasting glory. We thank you, God, for your goodness and mercy. As we go through this day, help us to think upon you and help us to allow you to be in our mind and heart and soul. And if each step that each and every one take that come in contact with this video, may they rest assured that you will provide for all of their needs according to your riches in glory. Because you are a provider, you are a burden bearer, you are a problem solver, and a healer, and a deliverer. And so God, this morning, you are worthy to be praised, you are worthy to be lifted up. I put everything into your hands and into your cares. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have thine own way, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. May you, may you see the hand of God as you go through this day in the way that you have been expecting God to show up for you. God bless you. See, feel, and seal the vision that God has given out to you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep pressing. God bless you.